What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be doing a review of the Norscott Cat 320DL Excavator in 150 a scale made by Norscott. If I didn't already say that, I don't remember. Funny how that works. Um, so this one was customized for me by Outback Custom Models. Go check them out. Face, uh, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, I suppose. So let's get into it. Um, functionality wise, we'll start off. Uh, the hammer here which is an NPK GH9 hammer. It's made of resin. I do believe it's not metal like some of the other ones. But it's nice and light, keeps the weight down, so it's not gonna weigh your boom down, it's not gonna make the cylinders just basically fail out on you. Um, comes in stick linkage, I don't know what the hell you want to call it. But as far as I'm concerned, the hammer comes in this far goes out quite far. I like that a lot. The stick goes out, you know, the normal 320 way it would. If you have one, you know what the stick does. It comes in far enough. The digging depth is quite low. Uh, let's pull it out here. Show you right there, which I like a lot, again. And then pulling the boom up, spins a 360 like they do. The tracks are tensioned. And uh, so yeah, that's basically all the functionality, guys. As for detail, I must say I love these 320s. I have three of them, the two 320s and a 323. I think that these are some of the best tracks Norscott has ever done. These ones, I think the 963D ones have some pretty damn good tracks. And, uh, I mean, what can I say? My favorites. So, this one has an ISM cab guard on it. Uh, these are pretty damn good cab guards. Relatively cheap, too. I think they're between $9 and $11 on Buffalo Road Imports. Very nice cab guards. I think I've got four of these on different models right now. Um... Cab wise, I know you can't really see in there, but it's just a plain old insert. You know, a couple of joysticks, the seat, and the track controls. Um, coming to the side of it here, the model door hinge, as well as crisp cat and 320D LD cals, are very nice. I mean, I don't know why they wouldn't be nice. Um, the grill up here, this is just painted on. There's no, I get, there's no texture to it. So, there's that. Coming around to the back, there's a nice cat decal as well as two reflectors down here. Uh, Outback Custom Miles did put this finning cat decal on, which I am a fan of. I just think it gives it a nice look. Something we see around here, minus the fact that we don't see finning. Virginia, but coming to this side, we've got more Chris 320 decals. The tracks here, these are triple grazer tracks. The track frames are just kind of like standard, you know, no no working rollers. I'm sorry you can't see that. The sprocket is plastic, so you know, standard stuff right there. Um it was customized with a new brass handrail, get rid of the old plastic one. Looks much better, feels much better, and it does stay in there pretty well. We've got a plastic mirror right here. Coming to the back side of it, you can see there is a reflective surface. It's really just painted gray, but eh, well, you know what, whatever. Pulling it up on its back, we can see the slip grip texture decals on the walkways, an etched through step here, and the engine cover and exhaust stack are plastic. Um, this is unsafe for the model probably, but you know it's not hurting it yet. The hydraulic hoses down here, they are all rubber, which is very nice. They run up the boom, just pull the boom up. I guess maybe you know what I'll pick up the camera. Sorry. Uh, 
uh, they run up the boom right here. They go into this first section of cylinders. And you can see they transition into hard lines here and then back into soft lines as you get to the stick cylinder. Um, pulling this back down here. The hammer is pretty good casting, I would say. Well worth it. NPK, as I said before. And it just screws in with these two screws right here on the other side. Um, the base model itself retails for roughly $65 to $75, depending on where you buy it. The cab guards, as I said before, were roughly $9 to $11, and the hammers, about $25, bucks, which isn't too bad, I guess. I mean, I'm cool with it, so. I mean, I think it adds a lot to the model for it to be, I guess, customized like this. The cab guard gives it a little bit more finesse, if, if that's the right word. And I think the addition of the decal and the handrail just make it, just send it through the roof personally. I like that it's metal, and I think that all models should have metal handrails. Even if there is a price increase, I think I'd be willing to pay for it. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.